And developing today, a temporary funding reprieve for Des Moines Area Regional Transit. Late last year, the bus service announced a 40% service cut would be needed without any additional funding. DART wanted the Des Moines City Council to max out franchise fees that are tacked onto utility bills in order to fund the bus service. Service cuts could begin this November. WHO 13's Elias Johnson joins us now live from the Des Moines Area Planning Organization. Des Moines MPO uh, leaders did not increase the franchise fee, Elias, and now they might not have to. That's right, Aaron. A uh, temporary being the word here, but uh, something that DART is certainly celebrating today. A decision by MPO, which is made up of a number of area communities here across the metro and county. Uh, they essentially meet to discuss how federal funding dollars will be distributed uh, for a number of projects. And back on April 3rd, they identified a surplus in dollars for projects that came in under budget, as well as the carbon uh, application federal program uh, that awarded $9 million to the uh, area agencies here to, to distribute. They, they're deciding to award $3.6 million to DART for the next couple of years, which is going to help fill the gap that DART identified and requested or they're gonna to have to cut services. That's something that's been widely reported. Uh, so this temporary boost is gonna help pay for buses, no disruption in service. So if you do rely on bus transit, that's a good day for you. Uh, it's a good day for DART as well. Uh, there were some questions, some really tough questions. Uh, the city of Clive asking, does this fix the overall revenue problem that DART is facing? Pleasant Hill also asking those questions and the short answer is no. Uh, it really doesn't help with the revenue shortfalls that DART continues to operate in a deficit. They're having a, a tough time finding a way to be profitable. In fact, we did hear from Len Murray of Pleasant Hill representing his city today, uh, asking and questioning about the use of this money and if it truly was the best use as everybody was on the table to possibly receive these funds. Take a listen. A tough decision is going to have to be made at some point uh, on how do we staff DART going forward. Uh, for us, the, the bigger issue in the city of Pleasant Hill is with the growth cap that the legislature has created. Uh, when we start looking at our budget, you know, how do we staff a fire station? How, how do we get those additional police officers? And that's important because property taxes make up the majority of the 40 plus million dollar budget that DART operates on each year. So for the next couple years, no disruption of service, and they've got that amount of time to come up with the way that they can find to continue to be profitable. Uh, they've made cuts, they've eliminated staff, but they still haven't found a way to meet the service demand and make money at DART. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll hear from the CEO at DART on some of these tough decisions they're gonna have to make, Aaron, at some point in order to simply uh, have a service that can uh, operate here in Des Moines, West Des Moines, and across the metro. It's important to a lot of people here, yeah. uh, and we'll have more on that coming up tonight at 10. Yeah, the impact is significant. Important story. Thanks, Elias.